Okay, back on track. We're going to pick up this building eventually, someday, and it's going to put right a lot of the problems that it has. Um, it has a bunch of, there are a bunch of good things about this building, but one of them um, isn't a falling apart foundation, but it's one that uh, could use an update. It's been over 100 years now in foundation technology, so we'll pick this place up, and they'll support it on um, cribbing, which is just softwood, uh, like railroad ties, sort of in form, and they are stacked Lincoln Log style, but you get the building up with hydraulic jacks and steel beams, taking everything up together, and then they crib up uh, to certain, this, the locations of all this equipment is very particular and all this stuff, but you get it in the right spot, and you get it standing up here on cribbing, and then you uh, take at least the jacks away. I believe the beam and stuff has stayed, stays underneath there for the time being. But what happens is basically um, they come through with bulldozers and skid steers, and they dig a new hole. And this is all relative, like I was saying, the road has been added to and added to and added to and added to up here, down here, and we want to be downhill extremely to the road so we're going to come to rest probably 12 18 maybe 20 inches higher um, in elevation than it was before when we're all done so we'll do more digging down we'll put the correct media in here we will pour a big three foot wide concrete footer in the ground down here we'll form up and we'll pour solid 12 inch thick concrete walls on top of that we'll cover that with uh, plastic um, it's like a heavy duty it's killing me that I can't remember the name of that stuff, but it gets, there's tar and a plastic here and you backfill and have um, drainage. I don't know if it's off the corner of the footer, I believe it is, maybe it's down here on top of the footer, but you have drainage inside uh, the foundation as well, or the footing as well. You put a nice big uh, footing in here for your piers and um, maybe we put an I-beam in in place of our carrying beam down in the basement. Maybe we don't, but either way, uh, we get a real appropriately sized heavy duty lally column and get him in there, steel, and then we pour a real four inch concrete pad in there. I want to do radiant heat tubing in there. So I got heat in my basement. I'd like my finish, and then you set the building back down again. You set him on there, you get your foam gasket and your treated sill plate and you set the place right back down on top of it and what you've got is a perfect plane from the top of this sill plate to the top of this beam oh, this should have been up here derp this new sill plate here concrete poured to there anyway it's a perfect plane from the top of the sill plate to the top of the i-beam actually the i-beam i believe has got lumber on top of it and in the cavity on both sides of it and there's I-beam here, 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 and uh, this is a shithole sketch. Um, I'm screwballing it up real good here. Um, no, that isn't how that is. It's confusing. Anyway, your two joists, uh, either on a new steel beam or a glue, glue lamb beam or whatever, but the entire flat surface is, the whole top is a, a level plane, which means this entire thing is forced, even more so than uh, the whoa, even more so than the adjustments that I have made, sort of grassroots so far. You truly force whoa, truly force this um, structure back to the structure back to perfect, perfect. And that anything that's out of whack, you can be sure is additive or scabbed in and can be ripped out. And so between now and when I'm able to afford to do this. Um, I won't be doing too much work that'll have to be undone when we get this get this right. But then we will be uh, downhill to the road outside, which will be ideal. Um, oh, excuse me, you don't want it like that. You want plenty of foundation. So we got the foundation showing. You got the grade going downhill. Then you got the road out here, foundation, whatever. You have some nice windows in this foundation with appropriate. Um, uh, window wells or whatever outside so you can get sunlight and stuff down in here. I want stairs up and out or a ramp so I can actually drive machinery and stuff down in here. I kind of want to go with a nine foot ceiling in my basement um, because the footprint of this building is so large that to have a, a heated, tall, drive-in basement would be outrageously um, effective. Hang on, I gotta stop.